Sunland Apple IPTV Entertainment Perfected, Faces Candy 2423950125 The Best Makeup Artist In order to protect your spirit, in order to protect your salvation, and even your peace of mind, you and I need the spirit of discernment. We need guidance from the Holy Spirit on how to navigate this life while protecting our faith, our joy, our mind state even. Everyone you come across is not good for you. They may smile at you, but not everyone has your best interests at heart. There are some people who come to only take your peace. There are other people who are sent by the devil so that they can drain you of your joy and leave you tired and discouraged. Some are sent to distract you. So we need the guidance of the Holy Spirit when it comes to the people we should allow in our lives. We need discernment when it comes to those we allow close to us, even when it comes to the types of atmosphere we enter. Spiritual discernment is something provided by the Spirit of God to lead and guide you to His will. It is an intentional process by God that allows us to filter the deception of the devil and the truth of God. 1 John 4 Verse 1, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is discernment. With the guidance of the Holy Spirit, you can tell who is really speaking from God's Word and who is speaking from a place of doctrine mixed with deception. And I believe, saints, that we need the Holy Spirit to speak and tug at our hearts. My prayer is that the Holy Spirit would open my eyes to every hidden stronghold in my life and within my family. May He shine a light on every corner that the enemy is hiding with the aim to take me down. Saints, God gives us the ability, through the Holy Spirit, to discern between various spirits and forces in the world. At the heart of spiritual discernment is spiritual warfare, because we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Whether you believe it or not, there are spiritual forces at work behind the scenes that we cannot see. There are forces of light and darkness that are out there seeking to influence the human heart for or against God. So I want to encourage you to make a conscious effort to pray for the spirit of discernment, for guidance from the Holy Spirit in your life. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you would open my eyes to see your power, to see the truth that is in your word. Your word in Hosea 4 verse 6 says that my people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge. I pray that I would not be in this category, Lord. I pray that all the schemes of the devil will be exposed by divine revelations from you. Remove the scales from my eyes so that I may become wise to the tricks and the deception of this world. Remove the scales from my eyes so that I may obtain wisdom through your word. Your word which tells me in Proverbs 9 verse 10 that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would give me the gift of discernment so that I can be sober, vigilant, and watchful. May the Holy Spirit open my ears and open my eyes that I may see the tricks and traps of the enemy. Your word says in 2 Corinthians 10 verse 3 to 5, For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. 
and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Father, I pray that we as your children would be sensitive to the unseen battle before us. Let us not be complacent. Let us not procrastinate. Let us not fall asleep in this war, but instead, may we fight with divine power that comes only from you. I bless your name, and I am grateful that you are a God who hears the prayers of your children. May you increase my knowledge of your ways and your will for my life. May you increase my wisdom and understanding. Teach me how to walk with the eyes of faith and discernment. Open our eyes of discernment and expose the traps set by the devil wherever he may be hiding. Pour out your spirit over our lives, Lord, and teach us how to apply your word in everyday life. Teach me how to live a life that will always honor and please you. Holy Spirit, would you guide me? Give me insight and deepen my understanding of just how important it is to have a strong personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Deepen my understanding of just how crucial it is for me to live a life that fears and reverences God. Knowing that He is not a God who can be mocked. Knowing that when I have the fear of the Lord in my life, that's when I will have wisdom and knowledge. And that's how I will not be destroyed because of a lack of knowledge. The Bible in 2 Corinthians 11 warns of false apostles, deceitful workmen, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And it even goes on to say, no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Guide me, Holy Spirit. Protect me. Fill me with wisdom and open my spiritual eyes so that I can discern deceitful workmen and those who are wolves in sheep's clothing. Give me discernment within all of my relationships. May I be sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit about those people who I form relationships or friendships with. Guide me, Holy Ghost, not to seek counsel or form bonds with ungodly people. Psalms chapter 1 verse 1 and 2 tell me that blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. So protect me from walking in the counsel of the wicked, or from following their advice or examples. I pray that you would give me the discernment to not stand in the path of sinners. Help me to be diligent about who I allow to have access to me. Give me a heart that is sensitive to your voice. I pray that you would give me ears to hear you always. I bless your name for hearing this prayer. Be glorified and magnified in my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. In today's world, one of the main things we should be praying for is discernment. And this is heavy on my heart because I am increasingly finding that the lines are being blurred more and more. There are too many things being presented as good when they are in fact evil. There are too many people who have a godly appearance, but their intentions couldn't be further from God. Here's an exercise to do. Take a moment. Be honest and think about everything that stands against God's word. Look at how the things of the devil are being normalized today by society, by entertainment, by music. Witchcraft is being normalized in today's society as though the Bible doesn't say come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean and I will receive you. Look at how fornication and adultery is being normalized. As though the Bible doesn't say God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. Just really take a step back. 
Look at what is being normalized today. Is God's idea of marriage reflected in entertainment today? Is God's idea of living faithfully, loving your neighbor, keeping your heart with all diligence, is that being reflected in the world today? Saints, pray for discernment. Pray for discernment because these lines are not just being blurred outside of church, but in the church too. How many people are wearing the label of Christianity, but they aren't living a life dedicated to Jesus Christ? How many preachers are standing behind a microphone and saying everything but the name of Jesus Christ? 1 John chapter 4, verse 1 says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. That's why we need discernment. Things are changing in this world, and we need the Holy Spirit to enable us to see clearly. There are two spirits in operation in this world the spirit of truth, and the spirit of error. 1 John chapter 4, verse 6 says, We are from God. Whoever knows God listens to us. Whoever is not from God does not listen to us. By this, we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So we absolutely need to pray for discernment. And perhaps if I put it this way, my message will really seep into your heart. The devil has been deceiving people for thousands of years, meaning that he has experience. He has the know-how. He has been working to deceive the children of God since Adam and Eve. I say this not to praise him in any way, but instead, I'm saying this so that you might be realistic and recognize that if you try and stand on your own, you will fall. If you try and fight the devil's deception on your own, you will fail. We need Jesus. We need to be filled with his word. And we most definitely need an outpouring of the Holy Spirit so that we can have this discernment that I'm talking about. Saints, we need need spiritual discernment. As a people who are called to be separate from the evil of this world, we need to always have Jesus Christ at the center of our hearts. We need him at the center of our minds and forever on our lips. Walk with discernment, saints. One writer wrote the following statements. A Christian home is a home which the Lord is a welcome guest. A Christian home is a home in which the Lord Jesus is given the chief place. A Christian home is a home in which the word of God is loved and honored and in which the voice of prayer is often heard. And regarding these statements, may I ask you the question, who is a welcome guest in your home? Is the Lord Jesus welcome in your house? And the second question is, do you give the Lord Jesus chief place in your home? Quite simply, is God first within the walls of your home? Is he number